my god, no. The f is that, man? What the f bro? On this episode of How Far Is Tattoo Far, Byron and his best friend Cisco put their bromance to the test. Typically, they're inseparable, but when it comes to fashion, they're on opposite ends of the spectrum. What are we here to do? Like, what are y'all's like cute. biggest pet peeves about each other? Oh yeah, so these crop tops, like. I love the crop tops. Byron definitely loves his crop tops. He thinks it's the coolest thing on earth. But I don't want to see all the hair. This is gross and nasty, man. Byron has concerns about some of his friends' choices too. Are you guys single? Yeah. He's a bit scared when it comes to talking to ladies. He gets nervous, oh, oh. and I just think he needs to let go of that. Cisco's not really the go-getter when it comes to going and talking to ladies. He tends to freeze up, even if they come talk to him first. Well, how do you approach a girl? Or don't. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> or oh, don't. Oh. <laughs> One thing they can agree on, why they're here today. What are your intentions with these tattoos? I think my man needs to learn how to get out there and meet some new ladies, and I'm here to give him a lesson. Without further ado, let's get these tattoos started. I'm very nervous right now. I'm trying to breathe. Oh my God, this tattoo is so big. So I'm literally being stabbed in the back by my best friend. Byron, I hate you. <gasps> oh my God. You're definitely not gonna get girls now. Okay, so we're done. I'm gonna send you off into the world. Now it's time to learn what lessons these two are teaching one another. All right, Byron, you ready for this? Let go. All right, we're gonna put the shades back on. Byron, what's going through your head right now? <sighs> I hope something I can steal so off and wear crop tops with. Yeah. <sighs> Y'all are savage. Yeah. <laughs> for real. I'm just really, really super nervous right now. I hope it's worth it. What the f is that? Is that a lawnmower? It's a lawnmower. What the f bro? Look where it's leading and look what it says. Cut that It's not funny. You don't like it? No. It's tacky. Cisco, why did you do this? I just thought he has a daily reminder to manscape, trim his up, and stop wearing those crop tops. Make it look nice and neat. For who, though? For everybody. Look at that face, he's so upset. I'm trying to stay calm. Tell us why you're so upset right now. Because this is my body. I wear crop tops. This is part of my style, now that's ruined. This tattoo's not sexy at all. No, I'm not sexy. You are still sexy, let's just yeah. make that clear. Cisco, I can't believe you, bro. His is worse. <sighs> all right, let's do the switcheroonie. Byron, any regrets? I just wish I made it bigger. Ooh, he's oh stone goodness. cold piss right now. Byron, you did him so dirty. He ruined my style. Oh my god, no. The f is that, man? What the f bro? Oh. Bro. Like, and you was crying about that? <sighs> he's got six sets of testicles on his back. It's a tree ball. So what does that mean? Basically, I feel like he doesn't have any balls when it comes to talking to ladies. He needs to grow a pair and be able to step up and do that. How's that gonna help me get girls? It's ball sacks hanging from a tree. I mean, who's gonna see it? This is on TV, bro. If, if y'all wanna hug it out right now, we're here for it. Nah, not right now. We can't be cool after this, bro. I would never trust Brian again. Really? Ever again. So some time has passed. Were Cisco and Brian able to mend their friendship? Cisco, he doesn't like the tattoo. He doesn't like the placement, so that's why he hasn't forgiven me. And my tattoo. Everybody makes fun of me. But I am still rocking crop tops. <laughs>